Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for uh, putting up with me last night. Yeah, well, it went both ways. You got up early? Couldn't sleep. Thinking about the family? Spoke to Marissa late last night. She's uh, trying really hard to be brave, but I can see how scared she is. So what's the latest? I thought you didn't want to hear any more about Riva. It's okay. She said that she watched Richard and Riva playing with Jonathan, getting more and more attached. You know? They were planning on spending the night last night. But she doesn't think they're gonna leave without him, so... I can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, well, it is. You know, Richard and Riva are finally getting everything that they wanted. And just tearing the rest of us apart. I'm sorry, all right? I'm just really worried about my family. You know, I, w I wish you would call me. Marissa said she you, would call me. You have back. nothing to apologize for, okay? I'm dumping on you about Richard and Reva. They're the very people you don't want to talk about. Well, yes, you're right about that. I would like nothing more than to forget Reva and Richard and get on with my life. But you can't. But I can't. That's right, because of my children. You see, once again, I, I find myself in this position that I... I can't move forward until I hear what Reva's planning. I can't even talk to my kids about any of this. Do you really believe that she's going to stay down there? Well, I don't think she's going to abandon Mara and Shane, if that's what you mean. But uh, I'm guessing about now she's come up with some idea that will let her have everything she wants. She, she'll be able don't, to have don't it Don't you think all. she would at least come back here and talk to you about it? Yeah, when she figures out her dream life, she'll give me a call. What do you think is going to happen? I've not been able to get inside of Reva's head for a very long time, and I don't think I want to waste any more time trying to. I'm sorry. Look, I know you're worried about your children. I just want to get on with my life, that's all. You will. But, but here I am in limbo again. I, I was going to start looking for an apartment, but I don't know what to do now. I don't know if the kids are going to be moving in with me or, or what. And, and you know, the, the thing is that even, even when I want Reba out of my life, somehow she still manages to keep me in a holding pattern. Maybe, maybe you can make the wait a little more enjoyable. What do you mean? Well, it's just that it's, it's been really nice having you over. Why don't you stay with me? You know, until you figure out where you want to be. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful offer. It's um, very sweet and very tempting. But, you know, moving in, that's... No, that's... I understand. You don't want to do that. No, I don't, I don't think you do understand. Um, I really liked waking up with you this morning. And I like spending time with you, and I want to spend a whole lot of time with you. But this is moving way too fast, well, okay? I didn't no, mean to push anything. Just it's... let me finish, okay? The reason I don't think it's a good idea that we move in together has to do with my children. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mara likes you now, but she's having a very difficult time with this split, and Shane is very protective of his mother. And the last thing he would want is his dad living with another woman. I just... I just think that they have a lot to deal with right now, and I have to think about what's best for them. You really are a good dad. Hmm. Like, I totally understand you not wanting to disrupt their lives. Well, I feel like that's all I'm doing these days. Shane and I, uh, we've been, or we had been trying to uh, have breakfast together as often as possible. You know, talk about whatever baseball or football game had been played the night before and breaking it down. Tonight, um, let's see, tonight we'd be watching The Simpsons together, <laughs> laughing. Mara would be, um, yakking on the phone, as usual, but she would be coming over to me and showing me uh, whatever essays she had been writing for school because she'd want to know 
than what I thought. You know, this isn't your fault that you can't be there to do those things. You're going through a separation, okay? You had to move out. Well, it's, it's not just, uh, you know, the idea that we should all be together under the same roof. It's more than that. I, I've just not really had my brain in the right place lately. What are you talking about? Well, the other day, for instance, um... Uh, Shane was supposed to meet me at Matt's house, and I was supposed to leave a key for him outside because we were going to get there at different times. And I left that morning and just blanked on the whole thing. And when I got back later in the day, Shane had been waiting outside for an hour or so. No key. Okay. All right. You know, you made a mistake. You're entitled to that. Look, when my parents got divorced, I hated the fact that my dad moved out. And I, yeah, I could see that he was distracted. I could also see that I wasn't getting as much attention from him, but I knew he had his own stuff to deal with, you know, and, and that he was doing the best that he could. I'm sure that Mara and Shane know that, okay? They can see how hard you're trying. I think you may be single-handedly keeping me sane. You want to know what else I think? What? I think that whatever happens between us should happen for the right reasons. And that's why I'm being so careful. So you're not moving in? It's, it's not just about Mara and Shane? Well, some of it is. I don't think it's the right choice for them, but I'm also not sure that it's the right choice for us. And I want to be sure. I, I understand. But I also meant what I said earlier about how much I liked waking up with you this morning and how much I want to spend more time with you. I liked it too. So I, I do have just a little middle ground you idea middle ground. going on here. Yeah. yeah all right. I, I know you're very protective of your closet space, and I wouldn't want to mm -hmm. infringe on that at all, but I think a place that I could keep a toothbrush, you know, in the bathroom, <laughs> maybe we could have our toothbrushes side by side. Oh, I like that. I like that idea. You know, your toothbrush, my toothbrush, cohabitating. <laughs>